What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was our mid-season uh, finale week 8 matchup against Kronos. This was a must-win situation for 2.0. If, uh, if, you know, if we uh, win, we're in. If we lose, well, not exactly if we win, we're in. Um, but if we lose, we definitely were out. So uh, must-win situation for us. Uh, we also needed uh, Golden Goblins to beat Pigeonism. And that happened uh, as well as an 84-80 to 80 victory for 2.0. Just an uh, awesome job overall. Uh, I mean, uh, I know overall as a clan, we're not happy with 84 stars. I'll just say that. I mean, we pulled together a pretty good war. Nines did struggle a little bit. We really stumbled. We did clear them without having a bully, but at the same token, I think we had to use every attack we had on them. We used a few scouts in the tens, but we definitely did not get um, as much information on the tens as we would have liked, for sure. Uh, made it a lot more difficult for our Town Hall tens. And luckily, at the Town Hall 11 game, we uh, we really prevailed, and that's sort of where the war swung in our favor. Um, <clears throat> if you check it out, see what I'm talking about here. So our town hall 11s went uh, five for six on their bullies. Um, you know, unfortunately, our town hall 10s, like I said, didn't really get a lot of great scouting information, um, and and just some of them couldn't pull through. Uh, and as well for defenses, if you look, our town hall 11s, they ended up throwing eight attacks at our town hall 11s to secure those twos. Um, oops. I don't mean to do that. And then if you look at them. Um, oh, wow. I guess we threw eight attacks. I wasn't able to even see the end of the war. So, I mean, both of us ended up having uh, struggles at the Town Hall 10 level. We really struggled at the Town Hall 9 level. And then they kind of struggled at the Town Hall 11 level. So, uh, obviously, the war swung in our favor. That really just goes to show uh, how important your Town Hall 11s are, guys. So, hats off to those those guys for us upstairs. Uh Overall, though, there's a lot of really nice attacks in here I want to show. Um, some really good defense. Uh, was a really interesting war because it, it wasn't looking great for us off the get-go. Like I said, we had early struggles on some of our nines. Uh, but a lot of our guys really stepped up. And uh, the three stars I am going to show, let's just jump right down and start checking some of these out. Because I had a lot I want to show. Um, two, two, you can just kind of see all the way down. You know, Kronos had no problems clearing our nines. Just kind of struggled at the 11s and uh, and then the town 10 versus 10 category, but <clears throat> see just a few more successful bullies for us. Let's head on back down to, or down to this bottom of the map, and oh wait, not quite that far down. 27. I was going to start Hannibal going in here, <clears throat> bringing a stoned uh, uh, bull, bolo here. Uh, like when you bring the three golems. And only the one balloon. Uh, just really recognizing he is definitely going to get these three air defenses on entry. Really only needing uh, to bring this Lalo portion, I believe, just kind of for this three o'clock spot on the base. Because uh, he's going to get big push. Like with these three golems, these huge sort of two compartments, uh, he's going to just burst right into the wall. Here comes his jump. Golems go in, Clan Castle comes out, getting the Tesla farm on the way as well. Great value out of that one compartment with four Teslas and the Wiz Tower and the Sweeper in there. <clears throat> Still getting good value. I mean, his bowlers are starting to go down, and guess what? Down goes a heal. Heal up those bowlers right away. <clears throat> down goes that second rage, helping that king, and the bowlers sort of pound on through that wall. Sort of just the king, I guess. It's kind of weird how the bowlers jump there. Or I guess that one little wall piece was down, but not the intersection. Uh, but anyhow, Bull is still in there getting value. King smacks down that defensive queen. Down she goes, and they're getting – sorry, yeah, the, I watched a lot of attacks. I just, just went through, like, all these attacks. So uh, as you can see, though, there's only, <laughs> like, three, four, I guess, to air targeting defenses and this one air defense. So the Hound does take two, um, and that air defense was almost dead as well already. So um, – and the queen steps up. It would have got it. Like, really, if he had just waited one more sec, uh, the queen would have got all air defenses in this raid. So far too many balloons. Hound bursts at the exact perfect moment. Only a couple archer towers remain to defend this base. Bam, bam, bam. Hannibal comes away with a big one. Tree in the bag, buddy. Good job. Sorry, I have to do that to get my cat out of here. 
don't know if any of you guys vape, but like if my friend has got me into it just because uh, it's really cut down on my smoking. Yes, I'm a dirty smoker, um, but it's actually really cuts down on my smoking. So, and it's much more flavorful than smoking, to be honest, <laughs> than burning tobacco. <laughs> so here's Sports Buff going in number 26. <clears throat> Two quick balloons in on that arch tower at nine o'clock. Down it goes. Good little trade on that one. Not never. Uh, really, just used it to make sure his golems walk right to the wall right away. Get aggro on absolutely everything. Get the rest of this funnel created. Third golem in at this archer tower down at six o'clock. <clears throat> Only has twelve hogs. Keep in mind for this. So that's not a lot of hogs. But the double jump using these sort of alleyways. Um, I mean, uh, you can kind of see how uh, once he bursts this wall open, it's like a runway up into the core here, and then he's bringing the two jumps. So he's going to get access right to this queen because the three golems are going to give him just a ton of tanking. In go the bowlers, in go the king, in goes the queen. Perfect. Everything funneling right into the base. Just excellent. <clears throat> queen and bowlers are going to get all that stuff on the way. Beautiful. Second jump's about to go down here in a moment. Really good job sort of placing this. It's going to go down right here. 12 o'clock. Queen locks on. Uh, I'll come the three baby Ds out of the CC, but the double poison goes down, taking care of that stuff. Fortunately, it is beating on his king, and he did not get the defensive queen out of this, but you're going to see in a moment um, the queen, his queen will step up and take care of it, but he does lose some hogs in the process. So it's unfortunate that that happened, but he still he just has far too many hogs. So they're only in this cannon now over at 3 o'clock. And this cannon down at uh, 4 o'clock. Down it goes. Defensive queen goes down as well. See you later. Just a matter of cleanup now at this point. Nice job, sports buff. Mm -mm -mm. That is tree in the bag. Beautiful. Sorry, also my voice is gone. I uh, I picked up a cold. So nothing beats a cold like a nice cold beer. I signed some Buckley's earlier too, so you know how that goes. Uh, was it 25? Yeah, 25 is my next one. Ryan the Great going in on this one. <clears throat> Bringing 19 minions. Um, I, I've seen quite a few of these now. Uh, sometimes you, you you know you just really just want to let your queen get access to a ton of the base using this walk and bring uh, it, it's like a, a sort of a town hall nine version of a Lunian. Uh, very creative. I actually had a fail on this base. I uh, very unfortunate. It's too bad. I almost should have shown a cleanup episode on this one, but I done the exact same walk. He's actually sort of mimicking exactly how I opened. Um, and then the queen's going to follow these buildings up here. In fact, it is the exact same. King goes in. This is literally the exact same opening. I had dropped a jump spell here to let everything into this chamber and get the defensive queen. Now, what happens is a hound came out. My queen got stuck on the hound. And then when it burst, instead of continuing up into this section, she jumped backwards after to get after a, a lava pup and got stuck in this compartment for the entire raid. Uh, so I ended up sending in my Lalo. It got a good chunk of the base, but it just was not enough. Uh, so Ryan recognizes, let's use an Earthquake, and then it's going to stay open forever and ever, and we're looking good. Unfortunately, the air defense locks on to his uh, healers while um, while she's working on the Hound, but he quickly recognizes that and drops the Hound from six um, and, and just gets his balloons in. ton of these minions you're going to see down here at six o'clock as well. I can keep it up here. Um, but oh, look at this. Just wall of minions going to start working around the base. Balloons in on all these defenses. Now see what I'm talking about. The, uh, the Once the queen finishes off the pups, she still has access now to step up and help with this whole back end of the base. Really was the was the super important part to this raid. Um, I had also started my Lalo from 12 because I knew I was going to get the sweeper on the way. Um, I think. I forget exactly how it was. Regardless, I, I chose to come this this way because uh, um, the sweep, yeah, that's right. The sweeper is pointing up to 12. So I sort of came in from this side and was trying to get my kill squad to take out this. But the queen never jumped up there. So none of this died. Uh, and it just didn't work out. But all these minions still doing work. Unfortunately, he doesn't miss that. Builders had a three, but it doesn't matter. He's got far too much cleanup. G, G, Ryan. 
Would have fixed my mess, buddy. I had a horrible war. Jesus, see, you can hear my voice. This recap's going to kill me, I'm telling you guys. <clears throat> um, first war in, I don't remember when I didn't get a three-star. I'm uh, pretty hurt about it. I, I got home. I ended up having to be at work until almost two in the morning. And then I did both my attacks. Um, I didn't really rush them or anything, I would say. like I, I think I planned them pretty well. I just executed very poorly because I was tired. Okay, seriously. You guys see what I got to deal with here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. Uh, 25 to number. What are you doing here? 20. Deli boy. <clears throat> just bringing a shattered bolo. Um, he recognizes he's he's just gonna go straight in. Oh, excuse me. Two of these air defense. Take out the queen. I think he's getting some uh, funneling troops. Uh, just basically wants to funnel this six o'clock off, sort of just get everything working into this compartment at this first air defense, and this jump's gonna just let him right into everything else. And actually, I think he even gets a third air defense in this raid uh, with only the two golems. I'm, I'm pretty sure I might be wrong though. Um, funnel's going down. Wall's about to get opened up. There it is. Looking good. Bowler's in nice and clean. Same with the heroes. Jump spell is down over that intersection. I was just pointing out. And once this defensive king goes down, everything's going to work on into that compartment. Take care of air defense number one and the clan castle troops at the same time. Heal spell goes down as well. I like that. Bowlers and uh, his king getting good value out of that heal spell. Down goes the expo. The defensive queen now locks on. So the king's going to go. Yeah, they, uh, there goes that second air defense here in one moment. Down it goes. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I think the queen and some stuff steps up and takes care of that air defense. So he goes ahead and sends in the Lalo and the Haze coming down from the 7 o'clock. few balloons in, just kind of supporting it, and then goes that second hound down at over at 10 o'clock. Just getting good spread on all that uh, tanking. All four air defense are down. <laughs> just beautiful. Definitely didn't actually need two hounds, but it's kind of hard to judge if he was going to get that far with his kill squad, but he did get just a so much value using only two golems and cutting across the base like that. So Queen has to hit the ability. I think the Queen even burns out, but he's got still with those Hounds on Burst. Five balloons and a raid still in hand, you got to realize as well at this point. Um, so his kill squad did serious work. Got a little bit of cleanup on the outside, but that's why he's saving those five balloons. He knows the Hounds are going to be tanking. See that little balloon trap there as well? That's very, very, very tricky. Um the, the Hound burst and then the Red Air Mine burst and boom, all go the, the pups all died instantly. So that was unfortunate. Uh, but just still a little bit too much cleanup, right? Three more balloons. He's just going to strategically place here at these uh, trash buildings. And it is GG. Dally boy. Nice job, buddy. Uh, this one's 20. Uh, 19. Toshi boy. 14 hogs with five uh, healers. I, I, when I first was looking at this replay, I'm like, five healers at Town Hall 9. That's a little, uh, a little extreme. But he does the old archer trick down at 6 o'clock with the healer. Uh, I haven't seen this in a, a really long time. I don't remember when was the last time you guys saw the old archer healer trick like that. So really clever. Now, one thing... Um, uh, sometimes maybe I forget about is when your clan castle is very offset like that and extremely lureable, you generally don't want something like a hound that can be lured out with a barb. Um, that was sort of a rule of thumb, but you just don't see that too, too often. And uh, I see a little healer trick there. Love it. So he goes in with the Archer Queen now from 12 o'clock. I'm going to just work on down to this, uh, this sort of um, e uh, natural funnel, we'll just say. Uh, baby drag helping uh, do work doesn't quite get the cannon out of the way, but no big deal. Air defense goes down. She's gonna work her way down and around now, and then goes the golem from nine o'clock. So this golem's gonna work on in while he gets the funnel down. <clears throat> gonna end up sending the bowlers and the king straight at this stuff and uh, get or, sorry jump straight at this stuff into the earthquake. So really huge investment on the access to the base, right? Like he's using six troops, uh, troop space here um, just to open things up. But his troop, uh, just the way he worked things out is just, 
perfect, right? The healers are going to step up now, help out this queen. Queen joins the party. Uh, does lose that goal quickly, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Now that the queen has full access pretty much to the rest of the base, uh, going to get great value with the bowlers alongside. Raid spell goes down. Start working on those defensive heroes. Down they go. Beautiful. Fantastic value from that walk. So he's going to go ahead and send in these 14 hawks now, really. There's only these... Um, this section of like cannons and archer tower or arch tower over there uh, sends in a couple giants for tanking. Doesn't even need to heal. So, you know, really good sort of uh, thought process because he knew using that many troop space for, uh, you know, the earthquakes and the jump, he wasn't going to have a heal for his hog. So he needed to bring a little bit of tanking for all those point defenses there. Works out perfectly. Trash buildings are going down very quickly. Tree in the bag for Toshi boy. Nice job, man. Hound is still alive at six o'clock. Alrighty, <clears throat> uh, what do I got next? 17, Caddick. I believe this is my man McGrady, actually. Um, Caddick's still on his uh, on his vacay, but he's starting to free up a little bit of time. Uh, Caddick actually uh, really jumped in to try and help out our base building team for this war. So shout out to my man Caddick. Miss you, buddy. <clears throat> good, to see you. good to see you active this week. It was uh, kind of nice. But anyhow, Grady's going to go ahead, get his golem down, get his funnel. Grady's so meticulous. This guy is just absolutely awesome, um, just with all the little fine details of uh, Town Hall 9 attacking. Like, um, just every little every little building, every little troop space is accounted for um, and has a specific purpose in this raid. So he's going to go ahead, jump on over into this uh, sort of queen area. Now, it is sort of open. So, you know, with these buildings out there, you think it – there's a potential th threat of sort of his troops kind of walking up and back around, but that doesn't happen. Uh, they end up just going right down to the expo and they're, they're going to continue to lock on and get all this juicy stuff really other than the clan castle. This is all defenses down here. He's just got to get his queen down there, finish off that lava hound. Oh, where does his queen go? Uh, at this point, last time when I first watched this, at this point, I was watching the hog entry, <laughs> which was really nice because he sends in just a few hogs, take care of this stuff, and trigger that bomb. Then the heal spell goes down right over the bomb tower. Perfect placement on that. Once he gets through that sort of high threat bomb tower with the GB there, <clears throat> uh, you know, it's looking really good at this point. Second heal down now, just so the hogs can work through the expo. There's a ton of DPS incoming on them, but really under the heal spell with that sort of mass. Uh, critical mass of hogs. There's nothing really these defenses ha uh, can do to stop them. Down goes the arch tower. See you later, whiz tower. He still has his queen doing cleanup. See, it's one of those instances. I guarantee you didn't want his queen to walk back out and around. But the fact that she did sort of help in a way, right? She's not locked under this lava hound. So there's no pups attacking the king. Um, you know what I mean? It just kind of, it, it just worked out really well there. Um, <laughs> great, he comes away with the tree. Nice job, buddy. Boom. Weird. Just like stopped recording there for a second. Anyhow, uh, moving on up. I think I got one more. A couple more actually. Check out Val. Val's just so creative. Um, generally always brings air. Uh, always brings lightning. I swear this guy uses lightning in every single raid. Usually it's because he's going to sort of do like a suicide hero like this. Nice little trades on these mortars, right? One balloon on each, two balloons on this cannon. So, you know, three defenses for uh, 20 troop space. That's a good trade off there. Goes ahead and suicides in those heroes. Gets the poison down over the queen and the clan castle troops. Beautiful. Gets the baby D in to help. Down goes the baby D. Queen and baby D are going to start working on this big dragon while well, the king takes out the defensive queen. Perfect. Their job is done. Let's go ahead and start the Lalo portion now. He's got uh, the quad, you know, four uh, Lava Hounds for this section of the base now. In come these balloons. First Lava Hound is in. Um, and nice part is with this dead zone here, I think that's a big piece of why Val did this. Because of this dead zone and the way he was able to access the clan castle and the defensive queen, he knew his balloons were just going to uh, path perfectly counterclockwise from air defense to air defense uh, using haste along the way and this base stands no chance so great balloon pathing getting a few in on each defense sort of good spot on that haste spell he's going to get both of these balloons now at this point oh maybe not not quite <laughs> 
but anyways, those are the only couple Teslas. He still has like a full health hound there. Uh, space does not stand a chance. Down goes the Archer Tower. There's nothing left to stop this Lalo. Pops are all over the place. Absolutely crushed it, Val. Nice job, buddy. Boom. <clears throat> all right. PH, what would a recap be without, you know, we got, we got all the important ones in this one for sure. I, I know I showed a lot of, a lot of town all nines here, but a lot of very diverse attacks. So same, uh, same idea uh, with uh, PH, PH loves the lightning as well. So much. He's going to just double zap quake, go ahead and bring nine dragons. <laughs> Usually it's 11. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> just go ahead and bring 11 dragons in my heroes and double zap quake. <laughs> I've seen it. I've recapped it. So anyhow, PH just suicide again, gets that king in there very quickly. Um, it's doing work. He didn't actually, his king was not meant to take out the heroes because he quickly drops those dragons to make sure that defensive arch queen goes down and the dragons also lock onto the clan castle. Queen takes out the air defense. The whole reason they, uh, they were there really was for that air defense and to create the funnel to force all the dragons down into this um, sort of remaining air defense. In goes the Hound. Nice delay on that. Sort of waiting right until his drags are in position. Take out these defenses and move, move on over to the uh, to, to the air defense. In goes, a, uh, in goes a balloon as well just to help out at the same time. But it is not needed. So many dragons in there. Tesla farm down now pops at, um, at 4 o'clock. But really, I mean, if there's so many dragons, really there's a lot of trash buildings at 6. He's got a wizard uh, doing work down there already. And it's only a matter of time because with only two Archer Towers and that little Tesla farm, it's not enough at this point. I think he's got six, maybe even seven, at least six dragons up at this point. He's going to lose a few as they sort of trickle on over to this Tesla farm. He does get uh, pretty much two Teslas out of the way other than that little tiny sliver of health left there. But as you can see, Tree Stars in the bag for PH. Just killing it, buddy. Good job. All right, and our one and only Z Bear comes away with a super nice attack. I was really impressed with this one. <clears throat> so he's bringing 20 balloons here. I uh, believe the Quad Lalo. I think so. This was the very first one I watched, too. Of course. So it goes ahead and gets uh, the Valk and two Wizards down there. I like, yeah, see, so Suicide Hero only brings the one Giant just to help the King just survive just a little bit longer. You know, Z's just got that level 35 King, so he's got to give by just a touch more time sometimes. Um, really good recognition on that. Uh, use also the one Valk with the... Uh, uh, two wizards over there to create the funnel for the queen. She steps up. Whole idea now is just make sure that uh, Inferno Tower goes down, and it absolutely is going down. Goodbye. So uh, in comes the Lalo. First hounds in now from 10 o'clock. Um, what he also recognized was sort of with taking this chunk of base out, really there's sort of – it's a it's a clean just Asian wall box to go straight across the rest of this base as long as he sort of deploys his loons evenly. And you're seeing that sort of work out. A uh, nice raid spell there as well. <clears throat> Sends in that third hound now down over at 7 o'clock. A few more balloons just kind of sprinkling around. Nice little uh, haste spell to get things right in on top of that arch tower. Make sure all these balloons funnel onto this uh, inferno tower. And they do. Finally, that uh, last hound, the max hound, goes in. Nice little haste spell there as well. Just perfect placement on that, buddy. Just sexy. In they go. Down goes the wizard tower. Down goes the air defense. Just crushing it skelly spell goes down under that raise takes care of that defensive queen at the same time even saves one he could have dropped all three there but didn't need it very nice little trick there when you get that when you know you're going to raid your balloons over a spot where the queen is and you drop two skelly spells it's come a very common tactic um you know for this suicide hero comp just because a lot of times you're not going to be able to get that defensive arch queen out of the way but you can get some other pretty important objectives out of the way and just use the skellies to kill the queen so uh nice job there z Tree in the bag. Boom. 2.0. Going to the playoffs. Cray cray. And like I was saying at the beginning of the war, uh, beginning of the recap, we're not happy with 84 stars. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. 
Um, we are not going to go anywhere in the playoffs with an 84 star uh, performance. We know that we're working hard at it. Uh, our um, first uh, we're up against Crummel. Uh, we are definitely looking for some revenge. They beat us in the regular season. Uh, so we're really putting things together and we're uh, hopefully we're going to put up a better than a 84 star performance, but you know, our time all nines, like I said, just kind of had a, a pretty off day. Hopefully we can uh, pull things together and put together a, a really nice performance next week. So uh, we actually matched up right now against dragons rejects, uh, uh, pretty known clan. I think they're in CWL lights. I could be wrong though, but anyhow, uh going to call it a night. As you can see, I'm literally about to lose my voice. Just, just killing me, but uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.